hi in this video we are going to learn how to word count in a spark and for this particular demo i have taken transcript of one of my previous video and save the data in text file data will be something like this we'll have multiple lines and in each of these lines there will be multiple words all right now when we wanted to solve any problem using a spark think it like a key and value pair all right so how we can convert these data whatever we have here to key and value now problem statement is getting word count so definitely word should be our key right so first we have to use flat map flat map what it will do is it will take this data and will split it on a space to get each of these words and then write each of these words in new line so there are five words five new line will be there all right it's kind of we are plotting this nested data into one word each line all right now we got our key now what will be the value so we'll use map method what this will do is we'll take this value and assign one value like one to each of these words because we want to count all right once we'll get all this data in this particular format next is what try to sum all these value or we can say it's grouping each of these words and try to find out how many uh, words are there right and for that we have to use reduce by key reduce by key what it will do is we have to give some instructions let's say in is here and here and i wanted to reduce these two values like one and one and uh, for getting the count we have to add these two value right one plus one it will be two so if there are nine uh, occurrence of in it will sum all these value right that way i will get the word count value all right now let's look into python code first and then we'll go for scala code now let's look into python code first i have created one variable and assign the file path to this variable next is I'm using a spark context we didn't talk about a spark context till now but soon we'll explain about it all right so spark this is spark session then a spark context text file and we're passing this file path here all right this will return rdd using the take method we saw these three lines this is the first line second line and this is third line each of these line has multiple words all right I wanted to see how many such lines are there we used count file data with this particular rdd and then call count we, we got 25 lines are there now next is you remember key value all right so we are using flat map on this particular rdd and uh, here we are passing one lambda function now this lambda function what it is doing is we are passing this particular line okay and then we are converting that particular line to lower case and then splitting it on space once we'll split this data we'll get multiple words 
and flat map will write each of these words into new lines that output you can see here okay next is assigning value so now we are using this rdd and calling map and again here we have one more lambda function so it will take these words and it will return one tuple right same word along with one value one all right and it, it will apply to all of these words that output you can see here for each of these words we have one now next is interesting where we are trying to reduce by key and then we are calling one lambda function where two arguments are there right x and y and we are doing the summation x plus y and you might be confused like hmm what we are doing here now this x and y is nothing but first and second occurrence of same key let's say in is here n is here so the first occurrence value will be x all right and uh, same key its value it will be y and what we wanted to do we wanted to combine these two numbers right one plus one two so that we are passing here that reduce this data based upon its key and add this value okay once this process got completed you can see we have in nine times we have used this particular word now we wanted to sort these uh, informations all right so that i will get to know which words i am most frequently using all right and for that i'm using uh, on this particular rdd sort by and then passing one lambda function and here you can see this is the data right and we wanted to sort it on which data not on key we wanted to sort on value so that's why i'm i'm passing indexes one so that it will take value to sort this particular data and then here we have ascending as false that means it should be on descending order and i'm printing false 20 most frequent word what i had used in that particular video v is there yeah i mostly i use i use v instead of i and the is there okay i'm using too much the and r and hmm and data i remember we are talking too much about data on that particular video now let's look into scala code we already discussed about different methods like uh, map flat map reduce by key sort by so here we'll quickly go through scala syntax for all these different transformations all right now first what we have done here is created one spark session then you remember from previous video where we set the log level to error so that we can avoid unnecessary info logs all right so here we are again calling the spark dot spark context in the text file and then passing the file path and we'll get the rdd then we have some print statement over here just to get the number of lines in this particular rdd and uh, printing few rdd rows next we have flat map and you see th this part is interesting where uh, we're just saying underscore dot split and then passing spaces so it will create one new rdd with one word each line then again we are printing count and some sample words next is we are going to map 
map is pretty similar to the previous one where we'll pass one word and we'll create one new tuple with word and one and the same things count and some sample records next is reduce by key and see how short it is <laughs> where we are saying like sort by key underscore plus underscore so scala will understand it that first one is kind of like x and second one is like y and it will sum up these two value all right finally we have sort by and here we are passing the second value the syntax is little bit different than python where we are calling x dot and underscore two in python we had something like uh, say here something like this and we call one but in a scala we have we have to call dot underscore two one to indicate the different indices all right then finally we are printing some of the most frequent word using this particular data so let's run this code as scala application and here we can just verify all of this data so we have 25 lines of records and then uh, this is the first line second line is spaces the third line then after flat map we got one word each line right then we apply map and we got these pupils next is reduce by key where it combine its value for each key and finally after the sort we can see most used word is v the uh, same result what we had in python so thanks for watching